Hi, this is Sir Steve with another how-to guide for Archipelago. Today we're going to be doing two, technically three games for the Archipelago randomizer. Those games are going to be Pokemon. So what we're going to be doing is Pokemon Emerald as well as Pokemon versions Red and Blue. See, technically three, but Red and Blue, technically the same game. Potato, potato. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide you through the Emerald version first, show you how to get it connected, and then I'm also going to go into the Red and Blue a little bit later on. They're majority the same, just that one or two little changes here and there. <clears throat> so first things first, let's go into Pokemon Emerald. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to first need the Archipelago file, or Archipelago application, and that can be found through their website on their GitHub page. What you're going to want to do is make sure you select the latest. The latest version is the most stable and most consistently working. Once you find the version that has the latest for today, it's going to be 0.6.1. Scroll down here so you see the archipelago.exe file. Click on that, download it, run it, and it'll walk you through all the steps needed in order to get it all set up. Once that's done, you're going to also need a legal copy of Pokemon Emerald. You will need to find your legal copy of Pokemon Emerald. We will not be able to supply you one. And then you're going to need to get BizHawk. Now, for BizHawk, what you'll need to do is go onto here. And me personally, I would recommend getting my version, which is the 2.9.1. Reason why I have this version is because it allows me to skip through some steps later on. Versus if you get one that's 2.7, 2.7 or 2.8, those require an extra step here and there, which I won't necessarily be able to go over in great detail, but I'll still hit on. So with that said. Once you've at successfully installed BizHawk, what you'll need to do is launch it and go into the configuration of it. Launching it here. It'll, once you launch it, it'll look just like this. What you wanna do is go into configuration and then customize. Now, if you have the 2.7 or 2.8, you'll need to do an extra step of setting up this Lua Kapua Lua to Lua and Lua interface and then restart the system. This is the step that I do not, that you don't need to do if you're on 2.9 and later. What you instead need to do on 2.9 and later, as well as 2.7 and 2.8, is to make sure that this run in background option, a little bit small text, but run in background option has to be checked. And me personally, I would also suggest using the accept background input only from controller. That way, You'll be able to continue playing if you accidentally click off. Once that's done, you might want to do a restart, and then you'll be able to get everything all formatted and set up for the actual archipelago. Now, if we want to get into the controller configurations, what you'll need to do is first launch a game. As you can see here, controller is grayed out, which will prevent you from being able to, well, launch the game. So what you can do instead is launch the game, It'll open up a new window. You might need to do a right click open with option. Get into the BizHawk. And now that it's open and running, you just go into controllers. And from here, you'll be able to select what you want to be for certain inputs. Now I have it set up so that way it's the D pad on a, on a um, controller, be it GameCube, Xbox, or PlayStation. Note that it does only work when it's wirely connected. For some reason, the wireless connection controllers do not work. As soon as I figure out how to make those work, I'll be happy to show an update to this. But for the time being, it seems that wire controllers is the way to go if you're going to be using a controller, or you can just set it up with your own personal keyboard configuration. So once you go through these, it's just like, hey, for my controller, I just want it up to be up. It already has that, down to be down, so on and so forth. Now, with that all set up, you would then hit the save option and be able to continue through the game. Go on through, A-okay. With that, we're gonna hide that for later. Once you've done that, all that, and you've now set up the prerequisites to be able to actually start the archipelago version of the game. So now what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go into the options field and set up a randomizer. For this one, we're just going to have it named as Pokemon. We're going to make it so that, let's see here. 
make starters completely random just to show proof that, hey, it does work. Generate a single player game. Generations, generations, generations. Create a new room. Now it's going to offer this download patch file. This is why we need the Archipelago application installed. Because when you download it, it's going to show this option of a dot AP e emerald. This needs to be ran and it'll go through the archipelago file. Another thing that will happen during this step, which I failed to capture properly, was that it will ask you for locations of where the emulator is, as well as where the game file is, so they can appropriately make the patch. You'll get a screen that looks similar to this, where it will ask for, whoop, where it asks for specifically, hey, where is this game? Then it'll give you the information of what it's looking for at the top of the screen. Once that is all said and done, whoop, sometimes it does run into an exception error where it does not like something or something similar to that. To get around that, I found that if you go into your downloads, there sometimes is a GBA file. Double click on that, it'll launch the game appropriately. And also, this text field, this, um, okay, you need to hush up a game. Um, you'll give you this text field where you'll just be able to add in the room number. So 62432, connect. It'll show everything is connected. Get the game set up. It is a little slow at times. At this point, I'm probably going to just show how you zoom on through this. Look at that. Look at all the lovely Pokemon. Of course. My name is going to be. Bum, 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 bum. Now, what I'm also noticing here is that it does not necessarily show that you are properly connected within the room. Sometimes what you need to do is launch the archipelago launcher. Go into your browser files. And what you're going to want to do is find your Luna files that can be found with data, Lua, and then it's your Lua connections. So BizHawk gener generic connection, just take that, drop it on in. And after looking for a client for a bit, it'll then show client connected, show that's connected here, and then show that you are properly in. Now we're going to just zoom on through. Now I go back up. Hey, little girl, what are you doing? Oh, hey, there's something going on. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my dog. He's being chased. And that's not just starters. And from there. You'll be able to continue on through the Archipelago Randomizer. With that, you're all set for Emerald. Be able to continue through A-OK. -okay. Again, if the game does not automatically connect, you will just need to drop in that Lua file and you'll be all set to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out of everything, exit out of the Emerald version, and we're gonna then go over to the red and blue. Again, just about everything, same exact steps for the pre-setup. The only difference is that you'll need a legal copy of red and blue. I'll correct here, this should be, double check and make sure. This is, yep, this is a game version of red. So create a new room, 
We're going to download that patch file. Same exact setup as we did before. Open the file. For me personally, I've been having issues with it not properly showing up, giving an error message. This is where the error message is. Hit OK. Sometimes some goofy stuff happens. That's fine. I'm going to be asking for a ROM. That's also fine. At this point, we don't need any of this stuff. We can actually close out of it all because if we go back to the downloads folder. We're going to see one for the Game Boy for the red version. And we're going to be able to launch this. It's going to start up. And it should give us an archipelago logo as opposed to a normal version of the Pokemon game. And again, it should prompt you of, hey, where's your Pokemon Red file? Hey, where's the BizHawk file? All that stuff to try and get through setup. And again, what we're going to need to do, open up the Archipelago Launcher, browse files, go into data, Lua, the connect BizHawk, connect BizHawk generic, drag, drop, Going to be looking for a client, looking for a client, looking for a client. Client connected. Awesome. Oh. So again, we're going to try to go through those steps one more time. Browse file. I'm going to just use my quick step to get to the Lua. Base Hawk. Drop it in. Client, look for client, look for client. Just want to just double check over here. There we go. So you actually have to hit the BizHawk client specifically. And we'll be able to get connected to the game and get all that set up. Make sure the numbers match. Hit connect. This is connected. This will say client connected, and then you'll be able to continue through as if nothing is wrong. If you have multi layer, if you have multi world C, which you can then use to verify, as well as just other information. From there, just to get through this quick, I'm red, finding blue, same old song, same old dance. Look at me, I'm gaming on my SNES. And as you can see, I'm able to run right away. Something that, hey, won't you need the running shoes? Oak is not letting me play in this hollow grass. How dare he? I wish to be free. I wish to live life dangerously. How dare you, old man? Just let me, let me be endangered. Let me, let me go play in the grass. Let me be an animal. <clears throat> I'll now talk to you. All right, I'll choose my Pokemon. That's not Pikachu. That's not Pikachu either. Lastly, I mean, it's close to fire type starter, might as well. But you'll then be able to continue through and go from there, playing the game as you would. With that, you'll be all set to go. Just remember that, in essence, what you need is to make sure that you have the archipelago file installed, make sure you have a legal copy of the game and that you are all set to go. If you run into any troubleshooting stuff, just look through, go back through the instructions, make sure everything's connected and you'll be all set. Hope you have a good day, good night or good whatever time it is. I'll see you next time.